Hello and welcome back to the Pokemon Trading Card Game 2, The Invasion of Team Gur, if I remember the title right. The Let's Play Blind with Nia Rambler. Right, I was going to do Tales of Berseria today, but due to me having a very, very busy couple of weeks and another busy week coming up ahead, um, this is the easiest video I can do for the time being, just to drip feed some stuff onto the channel. So, with that being said and done, we will be returning to the Tales of Berseria, don't get me wrong. Until then, we're just going to do a little bit of more of this. Now what we need to do now is last time I believe Ronald managed to sneak aboard the Team Gur airship and get some cards off it and then conveniently give them back to the uh, master whatever they are, the leaders so to speak of the clubs, the masters of the clubs. So we can now battle a few more people we couldn't before. We can also now go to the airport with our completed Team Gur coin all glued nicely together with the power of imagination and somehow get a ticket or a ride to Team Gur's Island which would be quite interesting but for now what we're going to do is basically go and visit some of the clubs we haven't fought yet um, and um, see if we can fight them um, I think we'll start with the Grass Club if I can remember which button to press we go. Uh, I think Jasmine should have her cards now, in which case if she does, we can fight her, at least in theory anyway. Team Gur has disappeared. Everything's just great. Well, wonderful. I got my cards back. Thanks, Neo R. I never knew just how much my cards made me happy until they were gone. I know, materialism, yo. It affects all of us. I'm glad to be rid of those Team Gur characters. Stealing kids' cards was just an atrocious thing to do. Why would anyone do such a thing? Yes, why would anybody stop children being compulsively obsessed and addicted to a children's card game? I will never know. But whatevers. They have failed. The children's card game is free to carry on its addictive pleasure. So with that being said and done, I, I think we can also battle a load of these people now. Uh, I think that's Jasmine there. So let's have a go at some of these members down here. I think we can anyway. We might have fought a few of them. But we'll see. This is Heather. Thanks to your efforts, everyone can return to the play hall. Now if only I could duel you, everything would be great. Oh, okay, maybe she can't. Do you like our club's garden? We work hard to keep it pristine. It's a very nice garden. Yes, I do, Kristen. Beautiful gardens call for beautiful card battles, right? Not necessarily, but it would. I, I guess one can go in hand with the other, and we can battle Kristen, which we may have done already. I, I forget, but if we have, we're going to do it again to get some more booster packs, and or if we can get some booster packs, and just you know, do it. Why not? This is the Shining Moth Scales deck, so I don't think we have, but you never know. And if we have, we have, but we're going to do it again, all for the first time, our first duel in quite a while. Right, now then, ooh, uh, I is going to get Magma out, because he's a good Pokemon to have, followed by Ponyta, who's goodish, and that's all we've got. That's not too bad for a starting hand, that'll be alright. We'll see, however, if she's got Grass Pokemon that is weak to fire, because remember, the uh, members of the clubs, before you get to the Master, they tend to have a variable deck based on their club's uh, energy discipline, so this is the Grass Club. They won't necessarily have pure grass decks, they'll have a mixture. They will have grass, but, you know, a mixture of other things within it. Um, I do believe we have fought it before, but no. oh. Oh, bollocks. Oh god, no, 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 no. Fuck! What's he gonna, yeah, pick fire punch. Dick! Well, that's annoying, because that's the kind of move I needed to actually uh, get the battle rolling. But no matter! No damage was done, just a free energy was attached to both of us. I can delay. Uh, maybe I'll need to stop delaying, I need to get on with it. Uh, you may change the type of Venomoth to the type of any other Pokemon to play other than Colorless. Right, so he, uh, Venomoth is going to obviously change to... Um, change to Fire, I imagine. Yeah, but that's okay. Oh, Venom Powder. Now this is what's going to be a problem. You see, Venomoth has this really powerful attack. It only does 10 damage, but if when she flips a coin she gets heads, we can be confused and poisoned at the same time, and that could be extremely damaging. Oh, bollocking, stupid, bugger in arse. Well, Magma's pretty much dead then. Oh, fuck a duck. That's really bad. I mean, we can use a potion and perhaps uh, stall things a little bit, but I don't know, man. 
What attacks have we got again? Oh, we've got smoke. We could poison her back. But oh, I don't see that. I, don't, I really don't see any points. So we're in trouble. We could lose this one, I think. Uh, we'll use a potion to try and buy ourselves some time. Well, to be fair, if we do a fire punch and we miss, or as in we, we get tails on our coin toss and we get hit with confusion, then yeah, we're, we're pretty much out of this match. But we'll see it to the end, just because, you know, I'm not a sore loser. But we didn't. We got ahead. So we managed to get 20 damage done to Venomoth, which is great. Or, or not. Actually, Venomoth managed to do 40 damage. I guess that's because even though its types change, its weakness has not. So actually, we may be all right. Magma will probably bite the bullet, but that's okay. We've got Ponyta in reserve. I'm not too worried then. Doesn't really matter at this point if she gets her heads or not. You can't get double poisoned, so... We're just confused and poisoned again. But that's all right. I mean, it's not all right. I'd rather Magma wasn't. I'd rather Magma could actually uh, do the thing that he needs to do, but... It is what it is. So we'll put another fire into your pony ticks. We can't do anything else. We'll go for the fire punch, but my luck. I, I, well, let's just see what happens. Oh, we got lucky. Look at that. We managed to take out Venomoth before Ponyta is out. That was very lucky. Oh, fair enough, then. Thank you very much, game. That was very kind of you. And we've got super energy retrieval for our trouble to get the fire energy back should we need to. I'm probably not going to use it, to be fair. I wish I had a basic Pokemon, but still, it is what it is. Also, has gone for the uh, obligatory tackle there, and Magma is now defeated. Fair enough, Magma, you managed to still take down a Venomoth despite what happened to you, buddy. You will be remembered. Right, we have now got a Tauros now, which is very handy. So I shall attach Fighting Energy to Tauros to get him going. And we're going to use Kick, because why not? Should do 40 damage instead of 20, and it does. So that's Bulbasaur down as well. Good times. And we've got Double Colorless Energy for our trouble, which would be great to add on to Tauros. Possibly. I think we might be able to win this. Because, yeah, she's buying time now to get Venonat going again, so she might have another better moth on her. But that's alright, I think we've got this one in the bag. Kicking and stamping is 20 plus. Right, okay, well, I won't put a double colourless on her, on um, Taurus. So I'll put a fighting energy on. Uh, we shall just go for the flame tail, get rid of Tangler straight away. Lovely doubly. Say lovely jubbly there, but whatever. Sometimes I speak many words that mean no things. It's a wonder anyone can understand me at all. She's beginning to cry now, which actually makes me feel a bit sad because I'm not really here to make people cry. I do make people cry, don't get me wrong, but generally because I'm an idiot rather than because I'm malicious, even though I can come across as malicious. I can assure you I'm not. But even with Charmander down and the fire engine attached, I think this one's in the bag. Oh, we were I was scared there. I'll tell you now, if Magma had not got the... Um, Magma had not got the uh, two fire punches off, we probably would have lost that, or maybe just scraped a win. Could have gone either way. But sadly, Kristen, I'm afraid you're going to have to cry in loss. But don't worry. I've got angry and cried before in my past. You will get over it. You really are a strong kid. Uh, wow. Lucky and strong, maybe. I don't know. No, it's because I'm, I played a fire deck against a grass deck. I am being a bit of a dick here. But we got a Legends Booster Pack, so let's see what we got. We've got, ooh, a shiny Jungle Jolteon. Yeah, that's very nice. Not a bad Pokemon, but a lot of his attacks is based on coin tosses. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it, it, it's cool to have. I'll, I'll take it. Um, ooh, there's a new Paris there. I haven't seen that one before. If we have, now I know. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon in Paris, put it onto your bench. Okay, rather than the hands. So that's quite cool. Oh, it's not a grass energy for our trouble. That's alright. Please come back if you'd like to play again. I will do. Right then. Let's just save the game, just in case. I mean, it's no real point in saving, really. Oh, Neo. Ah, oh, welcome to our play hall. I didn't expect you to defeat Team Gur so easily, to be truthful. You're not done fighting, are you? I have some booster packs, you see. Would you like to duel Brittany? Yes, I would. I'd like your booster packs. I won't lose this time. So I think we've versed Brittany before. Yeah, I think we have. But that's fine. We'll battle her again before we go on towards... Jasmine. I think that's her name, for the Clubmaster that is. Because this is what you did in the first game, you'd have to beat the members. Well, you didn't actually have to beat the members. Some clubs you had to beat all the members before the Master. Some clubs you could go straight to the Master and the members were an option. It, it varied. But yeah, very good. Right, um, I'm going to keep Charmander in the 
back wings for now, so I can build up Tauros and of course Charmander himself, or herself. Uh, might be... I, I can't remember her deck at all. Um, again, head squeal, we're very lucky with our coin tosses. I'm a bit worried actually, because that kind of means then that we're not going to be very lucky for our coin tosses when it comes to the match with Jasmine. But we can fight her as many times as we like, so it's not the end of the world. We get 20 damage off the bat with Bite, so that's good. Stop Scratch Energy, so she's going to use Disable. She'll probably get... I reckon she'll get this one. She does not! Wow! We are being very lucky today. Again, I'm sure that'll change. Right, double colourless energy I should put on to Tauros, so he can do his kicking and stomping attack. And we'll go for another bite, why not? Venonat's too tasty. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, she's happy. She's used a bill. Okay, that's that's fine. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that. So that's another grass energy to tangle her, so she's not going to go for the Venonat. Alright, she probably will get lucky on this one. She does not again! What is going on, game? Are you just happy I'm playing with... I'm, I'm playing you today or something? I don't, I don't know! Well, I'll take it. I am happy to be playing this game, by the way. Well, I, I love Pokemon Card Game. At least the Game Boy version of Pokemon Card Game. And I used to love collecting it as a kid, as I've said before in the past, so... A good old uh, Dark Lord Kaiser has sent me... Uh, two cards, the Imakuni Trainer card and Imakuni Studio. But if you haven't watched the update video I did recently, he did that because he's a very nice chap. And do check out his channel by the way, please do. If you haven't already, I know I keep nagging, but please do check out his channel. He's a good LP here and he needs to get off the ground, get some support going, and he's doing very well already. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, give him a shot, he's good, he's very funny. He's funnier than me anyway, and he's a lot more polite and articulate and less sweary and all kinds of other nice things. He does swear, but not nearly as bad as I do. So in other words, you know, he's a good chap. That's what I'm trying to say. Right, anyway, uh, we'll put a fighting energy on Charmander. We'll go for the final bite with Rasta, because of course uh, Tangler will sadly knock out Rasta next turn, but that's okay. I don't like sacrificing Pokemon like this, but you do have to be strategic sometimes. It's, uh, that's the name of the game, really. Did you get the nerds of tails? What's going on? I, I, I mean, that was a bit of a waste, but I'll take it. But in terms of, I'd rather she got heads, balance things out. But uh, oh well. We get one more energy card, which we did. We can now upgrade to a Charmeleon. And when I say upgrade, I mean evolve. Is the right terminology? And we shall slash Tangler to death. Slash all those vines off you, so we can really see what's lurking under there. Another fighting energy for our trouble, which is good. We can chat such a chop. Also has no energy on her at the moment. She doesn't at the moment, no, because she's going to use Bulbasaur as a sacrifice. Power up the other Bulbasaur in her. In a, well, that's, oh, I've just realised I've got Pony, so I should have put Pony down, really. Could have got Rapidash going. Oh no, never mind, it doesn't matter. I think we've got this uh, battle in the bag. Uh, I may have tooted my own horn there, but I'm pretty confident. Yeah, she's beginning to cry as well. Let's see. Razorly for 30 damage. That's powerful. Damn. I forgot that Bulbasaur has that. Doesn't matter though, because I think she knows what is coming. So let's just get it over and done with. Time to slash you down. Cut you from your prime. Or cut you from your prime. Whatever the, whatever the expression is. We've, we've done that. And we've won. We've pulled him a chop. It doesn't matter though. And she goes crying home as well. I feel bad making them cry like that. Like, if they're frustrated or angry or upset, that's different. But when they're like, <laughs> you're like, oh, I'm sorry. I was defeated again after all. Yeah, you booster pack. So I'm sorry. Oh, well, whatever. No, I suppose I am who I am. So we've got premium booster packs. Let's see what we got. Ooh, another scoop up. Uh, that's handy for a later deck I have in mind. Oh, I'm glad we've got that. I mean, it's not necessarily what we need now, but I'll take it. Yeah, we've got another one as well for our troubles, which is good, so what do we get? Ooh, another nine tails. Which again, it used to be very common back in the day. There was always the shiny that you... You always got a high chance of getting that shiny from the base set booster packs back in the day. Oh, at least I did anyway, from my experience. I always seem to get one. And it was okay, nine tails. It's not that brilliant a card, but if you've got it all powered up, then yeah, it's powerful. Although you have to discard fire energy for a fire blast, but still. It's not the greatest cards, but she looks beautiful anyway, so that's, that's what's important. Out there as well. Have you seen that me out before? I can't remember. Well, we have now. Got another bill for our trouble. What's the crabby pony turn of water energy? Cool. It's been hard to get back cards since Team Guru's attack, hasn't it? 
Uh, I, I, yes, because old uh, uh, Heather here hasn't got any, which is a shame. But never mind. Right, we're going to take on... I believe it's Jasmine. I've probably got a name wrong. It's probably somebody else. It's Nikki, oh, for fuck's sake. Why do I never get these names right? My memory is... is it, you could filter anything through it. It, it just gets stuck. It just... Everything goes. Nothing stays in it. It's terrible. Oh, well. Oh, good afternoon, Neo. Oh, I'm, I'm just finishing a new deck. You've done me a great favour, and I thank you wholeheartedly. Even though it's been a while, could I have a card battle with you? Of course you can, Nikki. You can thrash my ass, because that's exactly what's going to happen now. I like to have battles using six prize cards. Please try to relax and not get worked out. Oh, patronising bitch! It's, a, it's, it's not your business if that's what I do. God, blimey, she's all like polite and everything. You think, oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice to be polite. Thank you. Yeah, you don't have to be thankful, but polite is lovely. And bam, at the end, she just slips over, coming in. Oh, don't get worked up. Fuck off! With your max energy deck, I'm a little nervous actually, which I imagine is going to be based around Venusaur, because Venusaur is the Pokemon power which you can move grass energy from one Pokemon to another really easily. You know, it's a very powerful Pokemon power if you get it all set up. And we've only got a Rattata for our trouble, so yeah, I think this battle we are going to lose, and probably the next few with her as well. But you know what? I'll take it. I have to. Got no choice really. Like I said, don't get worked up. Which I have been doing quite a lot recently, so she, in, in truthful fact, she's given me some life advice there that I really should take to heed. Oh, she's happy. Execute on the bench. Canopy on the bench. Grass energy's bulb, so yeah, I think she's got this one tackled. Tackled? She's got this one in the bag. She's tackling it head on, something like that. Well, I can't say things. Right, we've got a Machop as a backup, so that helps, I guess. Right. And a Charmander and another Rasta. Right, okay, I'm gonna have to put a fire energy on. No, see, this is a tough one because. Yeah, no, I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, fighting energy on Rasta Surge might seem like a bit of a waste, but I wanna get a bite off. So that if I get Charmander out next and he goes for the scratch, double damage, 20 damage, I'll take out the Bulbasaur then. And it's a waste of two grass energy on her behalf then, so I'll take it. Sorry, Rasta, but again, you know, you were good, trust me. You, 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 you've done your bit. Let's get Charmander out. Let's get a Fire Energy on him. Got another Machop. Okay, we got a load of basic Pokemon coming through now. We've got a ton of Fire Energy. Let's make sure we use them. Actually, to be fair, we kind of screwed ourselves over. And Fighting Energy would have been really handy at that point. But never mind, it's too late now. Let's just scratch Bulbasaur away. Get rid of that two grass energy. So she's now having to go back to where she needs to be. We've got a Super Energy Retrieval, which uh, is not bad, actually. We could use that. Oh, she's looking a little nervous. Okay, string shot. Can paralyze. Please don't paralyze. Ha! Luck again! Luck again! How do we do this? Right. Very handy. Oh, it's a Charizard as well, which uh, sadly is not so handy. But we could always use Super Energy Retrieval later and discard him to get our energy back. Because we're going to use Ember now to get rid of that canopy straight away. I want him dead, done, gone. I don't like being paralyzed. It can buy her time. I'm always more for the quick thing. We've got a potion for our trouble as well, which is really handy. Oh, she's looking nervous again. We'll able to put a grass energy on. She can't do anything because uh, execute. I think needs two grass energy. We've also got a, prof uh, a professor oak as well. This is very, very good. We might actually have this in the bag. Yeah, she needs two grass energy for leech seed. I'm not giving her the satisfaction. Straight for the ember. Get her out. That's it. I mean, get execute out, not get her out. So that sounds a bit sexy. That like that sounds very uh, offensive towards women's presence. Something I don't know. Basically, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be offensive there. Right, let's carry on. She, she's still on the back rope. She's still got tons of grass energy though, which is a bit worrying. But luckily though, we have really recovered our position here. Going straight for the ember. Just get rid of that execute. Get rid of that grass energy. It's just knock it out. Right. Oh! She's out. There's no Pokemon Nikki's play area. We win. And she doesn't look up at least she looks a bit upset or nervous. She doesn't look like she's crying, so. Oh my, I've been defeated! Here then. Please take these. I hope that she said it in a sort of positive way, you know, in a, in a calm way, not in a sort of Oh! I've been beaten and I didn't expect to! Oh, and I told you to not lose your temper, but I'm gonna lose mine because I shouldn't have lost because I'm better than you! No, she's not like that. The Lost Island Boost Bats, have a look. Ooh, super energy removal. That can
can be good. It's a bit of a double-edged weapon because you have to discard an energy card attached to your own Pokemon, but then you can discard two energy from the opponent. I might pop that in the deck. I think we've got an energy removal, but a super energy removal might be worth looking into. That is a heck of a hip now, I love that picture. Somebody obviously, some photographer must have snuck right up to him, and then by the time he realised, the photographer went BING! Well, he didn't go bing, but he pressed the button on this camera that made a bing noise, and then when it did, it flashed in his face and hit me. I was like, fucking hell, what? And then they decided to take that picture and um, put it on a Pokemon card of him. <laughs> Bless him. So I've never seen this one before, so Puppet Master. If a Clefairy doll is your active Pokemon, that's a very specific situation, it may use any attacks Hypno has, as long as Hypno has enough energy cards attached to it to pay for that attack's energy cost. That's that's a bizarre Pokemon power. I, I guess you can have a bit of fun with that, but but Clefairy Doll has only got 10 HP. It's a trainer card. It's not even a real Pokemon card. That's a very specific Pokemon power. I like it. I might make a joke deck about it, maybe. I don't know, but that's that is quite interesting. Mind Shock. Don't play weak and resist for this attack. That's quite good actually, because that means Mind Shock's powerful against. Uh, Double colourless, because some double colourless Pokemon are immune to psychic or have resistance to psychic, but um, Mineshot can get past that. That's not bad actually, he's got 60 health, but that ain't bad at all actually. Interesting. Alright, that's good to know. Cool. And another Lost Isle booster pack for our trouble. And we have the cool Polyrath, which I think we've seen before. Looks familiar. Mega Punch and Hydro Pump, yeah, I think we've seen that one before, but that's cool. Oh, look at that Aerodactyl! That's so cool, it's got 70 health, you've got a Revolver from Mysterious Fossil, which is another trader card that acts in the same way as Clefairy Doll, uh, but you can evolve Pokemon from it. Supersonic, that's quite useful, it's a bit 50-51, but it can be, that can be useful. And then Swoop Dive, Aerodactyl does 10 damage to itself. That's, that's not bad actually, for 40. I could go with that, and it's a double colourless attack, so you can attach any energy to it. That's quite interesting, that. Okay, oh, look at that. Lick a tongue. Just batting away those balls with his tongue. He's obviously getting ready for some sort of batting the ball sports league tournament thing. Whatever they are. Lick. Flip a coin if heads to fairly Pokemon paralyzed. Doesn't do any damage, weirdly. That's odd. And then stop as well. Okay, 60 health. Yeah, it's alright. Mysterious Fossil. Meow. Mankey. Evil Coughing. Pokeball. And another Fire Energy Power Trouble as well. I had a lot of fun in our battle near R. Did you? I completely wiped the floor from you. How? How? Because you like that sort of thing? In which case, I'm going to leave it there. That's up to you. Please do your best in your fights on Gurt Island. Feel free to come back to our club. I'll be waiting for your return. I'm sure you will. We will, maybe, one day. Maybe in my spare time. Who knows? But that's cool. Okay, so that's uh, Nikki, not Jasmine. Uh, taken care of. Uh, right. Let's go to the... Ooh, see, I could go to the water club. I'd have to make a new deck though, because my deck's a fire type deck. Mm. Anything going on in the science club? I don't know. I think no, Rick got kidnapped, didn't he? Rick's still kidnapped, didn't he? We study Pokemon card tactics using deck machines. It's a custom built deck machine, different than Dr. Mason's. But how well is it functioning? It looks like it wasn't broken. I was worried the Team Gert may have broken it during their attack. Would you like to have a duel with me to see how it works? Uh, yeah, uh, 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 yeah, let's just do it. Okay. So we can't battle Rick, because Rick, who is the Science Club Master, he's still abducted, so we'll have to save him. But we can fight Science Club member David with the Natural Science deck. So we'll do that. Again, we might have fought David before in the past, can't remember, but we'll give it a go anyways. All for extra booster packs, all for extra deck, extra cards. Uh, but sadly, we have no basic cards on us this time. Don't worry, we shall reshuffle. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got one this time. So we have Charmander and Tauros! Uh, that's a toughie actually. Oh, there's a Charmander. Right, I shall put Tauros out as a bit of a um, uh, defense uh, decoy maybe. I don't know what the correct term is for it. Sacrifice, barrier, shield. We'll see. Anyway, we've got Tails, so he's going first. That's fair enough. He's got his Venonat again. That's kind of annoying really. I hate Venonat. Not that better in particular, but the better moth is irritating. But if we can get Charmeleon going, then we're alright. He's used to Professor Oak as well, so he's got rid of his entire hand. Let's draw what he's drawing. Ok, 
Okay, let's go for the disabled. I don't really care at this point, so... He was unsuccessful anyways. Charmander. Okay, we've got another Charmander part of things as well. Right, I'll attach a fire energy to our Charmander there. I'm going to use an energy search to get another fire energy going. There we go. And I'll use Professor Oak later once we've got everything sorted on the Charmander and evolve one into Charmeleon. Because right now we don't really need Professor Oak. It's good to have it as a backup. Kicking and stamping cannot be used. I don't care! I'm building up Martinho, but then again, so is he. That's the only drawback with this uh, strategy that we've got at the moment. Because he's uh, he's doing the same. And I can't switch out Taurus because I think his retreat cost is two. So, although I'm building up my team, so is he. Not worried about that, as I said. But anyway, oh, another fire energy. Great. I shall attach that to our Charmeleon. Let's just check what his retreat cost is. It's two energy. Damn, that's that's kind of sucky. So I need to switch all the double colorless to turn up. Oh bugger! He's now got himself a new gold bass, which I've never seen before. Or if I have, I've forgotten all about him. Bollocks! Oh, he's going for the side beam. Okay, he's now attacking now. Flip a golden face. The Pokemon is now confused. Okay, not worried about that again so much because Tauros is just going to be sacrificed. So Taurus is just going to have to take it. I'm sorry buddy, again, I hate using sacrifices, I just do it because I'm a strategic wanker. There you go. Right, let's have a look at this gold bat then. Uh, it is a new type that I haven't seen before. It's got 50 health, so it's relatively weak. So we can use a flamethrower on him and take him out. But he's got a leech life for 20, which means he can heal 10. And nosedive! Ouch! 60 damage, but if tails it does 40 damage to itself, so it's a risky move, but that's damaging. Okay, interesting. Not too worried, but it's going to be a bummer if uh, he doesn't pull him out straight. Yeah, and no, I am a little worried about him there. I might have to pull out the Charmeleon later. And maybe kill Venonat with um, Charmander. Oh, we've got a switch. Okay. Um, yeah, do I use switch? No, I'm going to... I'm not going to use switch. I'm going to sacrifice Taurus. I know, again, I'm stalling for time, but I'm going to have to, really. Like the guys, I prefer the quick kill, as you know, but I'm going to have to stall. No point using switch on Taurus now. He's so damaged. Right. Uh, could even get rid of switch Professor Oak. Oh, I'll only use Professor Oak when we're desperate. But not at the moment. Oh, he's looking disappointed. I don't know why. But he is. Perhaps he was hoping for... Venomoth, perhaps. It doesn't matter because we'll get out Charmander and we will knock out Venonat with an Ember. And then if he pulls out the Gold Bat, then we can switch to Charmeleon and do a uh, do a thing on him, do a uh, do a flamethrower on it. So that's fine by me. So let's use Ember. I'm not going to apply any energy cards yet. I'll save that energy for now. That takes out the Venonat. Got fire energy as well in reserve, so he's pulled out the Bulbasaur, but that's okay. Use Razor Leaf, but I'm not worried about that at the moment. He's also used Energy Search to get himself another Grass Energy card, so that's fine. Such an around female, not worried. It is going to hurt old Charmander there. Ouch. But we can, um. Oh, we've got a chop as well. Right, I'm going to use Fire Energy on Charmander again. I didn't really want to, but. I want to take out this Bulbasaur straight off the bat. No mucking around now, let's just go for it. Got a Rattata there, that could be handy. Yeah, he's got Nidorino, well Nidoran female. Um, he can use Fury Swipes with her, so if we don't get taken out now... Uh, we might be alright, we probably are going to get taken out now. No, we survived, that's very lucky on our part, because we can use Scratch on her. Uh, and then, when we get the Charmeleon out, we can use Flamethrower. I'm going to keep that fire energy as it is. I'm not going to touch another one to that now, so I will... Oh I'm going to get Rattata out for now. That's fighting energy to Rattata. Because uh, I'll evolve uh, Rattata into Rattake. I'm going to leave out the Machop and Machop because uh, it costs too much uh, energy. Oh, I should have put Machop on the bench really thinking about it. That would have been a better strategy. So I should do that next turn, because Machop still go on the bench. Oh, he's happy! That's bad. Ok, 
Okay, not worried, not worried. Maybe slightly worried, but not worried. Okay. Take out Charmander. Sorry, Charmander, again to use you as a sacrifice, but you did your you did your job. That's the main thing. Okay. Uh, get Charmeleon out then. Right. Got fighting energy. I'm going to evolve Raticate. So it's basically 20 damage still, but 60 health. Put my choke. Uh, choke. Put my chop down on the bench. Use flamethrower. Discard a fire energy. Burn at Nidoran female. Get her out. I keep saying get her out. Knock her out is what I should say. Because that's okay, I think. Sort of, maybe. Right, I'm not actually worried about this gold back now. This gold back can do whatever it wants because I can just use flamethrower next turn and knock it out. And I think we win the duel. So actually, it's kind of worked out in our favour. Let's just do it. I think we've won. There's 50 damage. It's out. Got Radicate, and we win. So yeah, that was actually quite, quite, quite straightforward. Took you out, David. Maybe the machine really has been tampered with. No, I just think you got unlucky with your type setups. And thank you for the booster packs. The premier booster pack, lovely job. Let's see what we get in our wonderful pack. We've got another fuck of nine tails. I told you, I always get them. The bloody curse has come back, hasn't it? God damn it! If I get another nine tails now, I'm going to go spare. Okay, got Dog Trio. That's that's not bad actually, because I don't think we have a Dog Trio. Well, we might no, we, no, don't no, we didn't have a Dog Trio. Hmm, might be worth putting it back into the deck. We'll see. Okay, we got a Professor Oak, which is handy. You run your diagnostic on your machine. I'm just gonna quickly tamper the deck a little bit. Keep the Pokemon we've got. Oh no, I just want to mess around with this a little bit. Um, oh, we haven't got energy removal, that's interesting. Oh, we've got two Professor Eggs. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I might get rid of super energy retrieval. I think I might just put energy retrieval in. I think it's just a bit more, a bit more useful than... Um, a bit more useful than... Super Energy Retrieval, because Energy Retrieval is a card, you get two energies, and so far when we've had Super Energy Retrieval, it may have just been luck of the draw, but it hasn't really been that useful, it's been a bit, it's been too OP for what we need. Okay, uh, I'll leave Energy Removal out for now then, I might swap a potion for a Super Potion, give that a go. Yeah. I've got Super Scoop up there. I don't think, oh, I have seen that before, yeah. Flip a coin, if heads just whenever we can play all your plus ups yeah. Oh, well, let's go Super Scoop up, and then you've got Scoop up down here, which is so much better, because you don't even need to um, flip a coin, do you? Oh, but that says discard all cards attached to that card, so you've got to discard all the energy, so I'm guessing with Super Scoop up, you don't have to. Oh, yeah, put all cards. So, okay, so it is better then, actually. Fair enough, just got to uh, flip a coin to sort that out. Alright, okay, well, we'll stick with what we've got for now then. We'll just save that. Uh, yeah, oh, let's save to the deck machine. Sweet. Okay, right, cool. So, ooh, we'll save the game again. We're going to carry on for a little bit longer. We've got a bit more time. Like I say, it's just easier to record this today and get a video out than uh, before. Uh, we won't take out the other science members for now because it'll be a bit dull. I want to take out another master if we can. Ooh, Imakuni's here. Let's see if he's available for dueling. Now, uh, he might have got his cards back. He might not be, but we'll see. I'm the Super Musical Star, Makuni! Is it? Oh, it's you, you're persistent! Are those your cards? <gasps> Would you like a card battle? Don't be shy. You'd like to have a duel with me, wouldn't you? <gasps> have I trained enough? We'll see. Yay, we can duel Makuni! Yay! Well, there you go, then we'll end on this, I suppose, or see how we do. Um, I'll be interested to see what deck he's got this time, actually, because it might be exactly the same as the previous one uh, in the first game, in which case, if it is, we're at a bit of a disadvantage. Or it could be something completely different, in which case... I don't know. Six prize cards. We're battling seriously. That is a fucked up picture. I preferred your original picture. His original picture, he looked a bit more... less creepy than that. This time he looks angry and more creepy. In fact, if I'd have seen that picture as a kid, I may not have been mad about his cards and his just weird character that I had done now. Either that or he's gained a bit of weight in between videos. Maybe. Either way, freaky!
Trust me, check out the picture from the first Pokemon card game. He looks a lot less creepier than that. I mean, still creepy, but a lot less. He looks a lot friendlier. So he's got the Inky deck, so that means his deck is going to be a lot more different, which is interesting. So, um, we have got a Snorlax available. I think that might be important, so I'm going to put him on the back bench, and I'm going to put Charmander out. And then Snorlax. And then Ponita, and I might end up putting all this energy on Snorlax, actually. I've got a horrible feeling Snorlax is going to be the one, the way forward. But I don't know, I don't know his deck. His first deck in the first game was not that difficult. It's a bit of a jokey deck, whereas in this one I've got a clue. So he could be the same sort of thing, where he's a bit of a joke. Or he could actually be quite tough and confusing. He's got his side up back. Well, that's normal. He had a side up before in the previous game. So it may be exactly the same deck, it's just called it the Inky deck. In the previous game it was called the Imakuni deck. Let's see, yeah, he's using Psychic, so we can't play trainer cards on the next turn. That is a bit of a bummer, but I can roll with that. Rasta are down. I'm going to put Fighting Energy on Snorlax, so I'm going to keep Snorlax powered up for this one. Because, yeah, it's, it looks very similar. In his previous deck, in the first game, he had Drowsies, Hypnos, Psyduck, Golducks. I, he may have had other Pokemon. Oh, Farfetch'd. He had Farfetch'd. And I think that's all the Pokemon cards he had in his deck. So it, this looks like the same deck as before. He's using the same sort of strategy. He's even attached Water Energy to Drowsy, which is a little pointless. But yeah, I, I think he's basically got the same deck as last time. So this is a bit of a disappointment because I'd hope he'd. Um, I hope he. I hope he wouldn't do that. But never mind. Mind you, though, the headache is causing us a headache, pun intended, because, um, okay, he's evolved into Hypno, yeah, it's, it's the same deck as the first game then, which you won't know, but, like I said, I've described it pretty much. He's basically got, like I said, the Pokemon cards I've mentioned, uh, he has Psychic and Water Energies, he uses Imakuni as his trainer card, as well as, um, a couple of others, but he doesn't use, um, I don't think he uses Potion or anything. Sure. Well, we can use Bill now because the headache only lasts for one turn. He didn't use it, so we've got Fire Energy and Charmeleon. Oh, that's a bummer. But that's fine. We'll put the Fire Energy on Rattata and get Raticate out. That's fine. Like I said, because he's got Psyducks and Golducks. Oh, he was very happy then. Oh, and Slowpokes. That's right. He's got Slowpokes as well. I think they're the promo Slowpokes. Rather than the I think. I love his coin. I want that Psyduck coin. I wonder if we can get that off him if we battle him enough times. I want a Psyduck coin. Everyone loves Psyduck. At least I do, anyway. Okay, Charmander was knocked out. Sorry about that, Charmander, bro. But uh, don't worry, your sacrifice will not be in vain. For the Snorlax is coming out now! We've got another Fire Energy, which will put... Mom's opponent, so I think. And now we can use Body Slam! He didn't paralyze sadly, because that means he can use Fairy Swipe still. That's alright, because remember, Snorlax has a resistance to psychic types, so as soon as we get rid of uh, Psyduck, we'll be alright. He's used Poker Flute, which I remember him using as well. Choose one basic Pokemon card from your opponent's discard pile and put it on his or her bench. So he's basically revived our Charmander for some reason. Um, oh, yeah, he has Jinx as well. I don't, did he have a Jinx in his previous deck? I can't remember. But yeah, he's done that. That's interesting. He's probably going to get all three heads. Uh, two heads. Okay, I can survive that. But yeah, he uses Psychic and Water types as well as uh, Farfetch'd. And uh, yeah, Snorlax is obviously better against Psychic types, so he's why I sort of predominantly did what I did. Yeah, might as well get Charmander to Charmeleon, why not? And I think I'm going to use Professor Oak. Seven more cards, help us out a bit. Right, ah, I got a potion, I'll use that. Lovely. Very handy. Uh, let's see. I'm going to attach some energy now to Charmeleon, I think. And then we'll use Body Slam to take out the Cider. Yeah, so it looks like his deck's the same as the first deck, which means he's not hard at all. Um, and in the first game, he'd give you four booster packs if you beat him. And then if you beat him, like, I think three times in a row, he'd give you his trainer card. Uh, we've already got one, but we could always get another one, which would be great. And he's bringing out this promo Slowpoke. So yeah, he's, he's got exactly the same deck as the last one, so I'm not too bothered at the moment. Go for amnesia. Oh, bugger. Oh, that's actually kind of annoying. Shit. That is actually quite annoying. Oh, you bastard. I forgot about that. Oh. 
well that puts us in a bit of a tight spot. Ah. We could even get Charles on if we wanted, which might not be a bad idea. Might be a bit OP for what we need, so... That is annoying. Um, okay, I'm going to have to go with done for now. Um, we're going to have to rethink our strategy because I forgot about amnesia. That is a bummer. Damn it. Clever man. Clever man indeed. Okay, right, well, like I said, I'm not too worried at the moment. I could retreat Stalax, get Charmeleon out and start doing some damage. Might do that. I'm not sure. I don't think Charizard actually has a weakness to water. Oh no, he does have weakness to water, my mistake. I don't have a feeling he didn't, but no, he does. Okay. He's got resistance to uh, fighting types because, of course, he's a sort of flying type. Oh, I've got dogs barking. I'm going to have to pause the video for a moment to sort that out, and then I shall be back with you in a moment. So back in a bit. Okay, we're back. So, uh, let's see what we were doing before then. Yeah sure what to do. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to retreat Snorlax. That's all the energy gone off him, but I'm going to have to break the stalemate. And I'm going to use Flamethrower to get rid of Slowpoke, because he's driving me round the bend. Nothing against Slowpoke, I like him a lot, but... Oh, he's got another one. Fuck it now. Oh, he's happy! Stop being happy! Oh, he's got another one! I don't remember him having that many in the previous game, but... Oh, well. I've been wrong before. Alright, never mind. Well, we'll take it slow this time. Will you slash? No, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to kick your ass. I was going to take it slow, but no, I'll get rid of these slow pokes. I don't like amnesia, which drives me at the bloody wall. That's a new Pokemon. No, that is a slight... Di that is that like, He never had that jinx in his uh, previous deck, so he's got something slightly different. Oh! Hungry Snorlax! That is new! I've never seen that card before. I believe it's a real promo card, but... That is new for his deck. Oh, great. So he has made some slight changes then. Oh, that's good. Oh, cool beans. All right, well, look at Hungry Snorlax. I've heard of that card before in real life. Interesting. All right, well, we've got plenty to work with at the moment, so I'm not going to... Let's just check my bench at the moment. No need to eradicate Snorlax Taurus. Yeah, no, I don't need anything else. I'll put my chop on there as well and then leave it at that. Um, so let's have a look at then at Hungry Snorlax. This is Jinx, which I think we've seen before in the booster packs. Can be quite powerful, so right, we're going to take that out pretty quick. We've got the Hypno, which um, I don't know if we have seen this Hypno yet. Pick up to three cards on the top of either player's deck and rearrange them. That's pretty good. And then Dark Mind. If your opponent has any bunch of Pokemon, choose one of them and this attack does 10 damage to it. So it's pretty powerful, that Hypno. It's got 90 health as well. A hungry Snorlax. Eat and roll out. Bloody hell, it's got 100 health, I think. It has as well. Eat. Place one food counter on Snorlax. You can't place a food counter on Snorlax if it already has two food counters. Okay. Roll out. When you use this attack, you may remove as many food counters from Hungry Snorlax as you like. If you do, this attack does 20 damage plus 30 more damage for each food counter. Ouch! So that's got the potential to do 80 damage. What sounds like its cry may actually be its snores or the rumbling of its hungry belly. That's quite powerful, actually. Hmm. I want that card. I want that. I want it real life as well, actually, thinking about it, but um, I won't for now because I need to save money. So, we shall slash the Jinx for now. And hope he doesn't put psychic energy on her, because to be fair, I can't really do anything else. Oh, he looks disappointed. Well, that's a good sign. Charmeleon is now in a bit of trouble because he could get killed by a double slap. Well, not quite, actually. No, I'm not going to be too hasty. Um, let's get... I don't want to build up Snorlax now. I don't see the point. Uh, let's get another Fire Energy on Ponyta. And let's just go for the next slash. I could have finished her off now, but I'm going to be a little bit sparing with the Fire Energy. Oh, he's happy. Uh-oh. Oh, he's just pound again. Okay, so if he was happy, it was for reasons unbeknownst to me. <coughs> Excuse me. That was very rude. Sorry. Oh, dear. Right. 
<coughs> and there's another one. Ah, oh, wonderful. I'll see if I can remember editing those out. If I can, great. If not, brace yourselves. In which case, it's a bit late for that because it's already happened. Um, we will evolve Peronita into Rapidash. I think that might be a good idea. And I will put a fire energy on Rapidash as she's got agility to hand. I'm just going to go for the slash and hope. I haven't balls this up by not evolving uh, Charmeleon into Charizard. The only reason why I haven't is because Charizard's attack, you have to discard two NG off him. Oh dear, we could be in a bit of problems here. Oh no, no, we're fine. We're fine. He hasn't put any psychic energy on it at all. So I think now is the time for Charizard to rise up and burn with fire spin. Let's get rid of them fighting energy. Oh, and a fire as well. Why not? Why not? I don't care. Fuck you, Hypno. You're dead. I like you, though. It's not personal. Just, you know, part of the game. Ooh, energy retrieval. Perfect as well. And that's annoying because now Slowpoke has amnesia, which means we could... Oh, no, he's evolved it into a new Slowbro. Okay, that's... Okay! New cards here, folks. I have no idea what these are. Goop gas attack. All Pokemon powers stop working. Oh, that's annoying. And both the defending Pokemon and Slowbro are now asleep. Oh, you bastard. Oh, that is annoying. And Slowbro's woken up for him. Which probably means that we're not going to be awake now. We are, though. Okay. Well, it's not the end of the world, because that, that, that trainer card will only work for the one turn. So I'm not too bummed about that. What we'll do is get some fire energies back. Okay, uh, let's have a look at the Slowbro then. So, big yawn and big snore. You can only use this attack if Slowbro is asleep. Oh, that's interesting. So that's a very interesting Slowbro. It's got 90 health though. Naturally dull to begin with. It lost its ability to feel pain due to shelter sleeping poison. Or seeping poison. Fair enough. Alright, well, Goop Gas attack only works for one turn. So, if I. Oh, he's happy again! Why are you happy again? God damn it. Right. Well, at least Sobro can't attack us next turn. And we can, though, so ha ha ha! We got lucky. Yeah, he's looking a bit nervous now. No, I've got to admit, his deck has improved since last time. Uh, well, the first game. Anyway, I keep saying last time. We've never played the first game on the channel. But since the first game, it has, and I quite like it. I might build his deck, actually, in the future for a bit of fun. We'll see. But either way, we have taken out Imakuni for now. And we have won. Brilliant! But that was... that was So it started off easy and then it got a little bit weird towards the middle and then... Yeah, we beat him in the end. What is it, kid, that makes you so strong? If I give you these booster packs, promise not to sell anyone I lost. <laughs> bit difficult, mate. I filmed it! <laughs> but we'll take a legend bit of... I think we get basically one of each booster pack. I don't know if we'll get the rocket pack, but we should get one of each... Um, basic booster pack within the game itself. I don't know. That's what happened last time. We'll see what happens this time. So, ooh, we've got a new Lapras there, uh, which I think we've seen before. Yeah, I think we've seen that Lapras before. That's fine. Yeah, anything interesting? No, not really. We've got a Premier Pack, which is quite cool. Another Duck Trio. Very useful. I'll take that. Oh, no, it only gives us two this time. Well, then I guess I'll continue to go wander around. Well, well, you do that then, Bun. Why did I say Bun? What is wrong with me? Oh, God. If it isn't near R, what's going on? Heard about your exploits. Team Gur was defeated. All that's left is to go clear up our Gur... Uh, clear up clip... Yeah. It's not you, young student. It's me, Nia Ramla. Clear out to Gur Island. I wish you good luck, Nia R. I have none of it myself. Well, good. And you should do, because that means it saves me a job! Your conquest over Team Gur is quite admirable. I hope you continue with success against them in the future. Rick and the Science Club has been kidnapped. It's supposed to be in Helga Gut Island. Yes, I know, I know. Yeah, they'll be fine. I'm sure they're being looked after in many dubious ways. I'm sure of it. Right, okay. Um, I think we've got time for one more. So let's check out... Let's check out the Fire Club then. I think we can uh, go for that. Now, I will off-screen 
battling Makuni several times and uh, I will make sure that I capture the moment that he gives us something else because I don't think he's going to just give us two booster packs. I think he'll give us perhaps the promo Hungry Hungry Snorlax, maybe, um, or maybe not. It may be a card pop exclusive, I don't know. Or he may give us more of his Makuni trainer cards. Um, if anything new happens, I'll let you know. If not, I will battle him a few times because it's a good way to get booster packs and get some stuff and it doesn't really disturb the game so much um, and I won't uh, change my deck or anything off screen but I might make a deck uh, separately to take on the water master I'm not going to take on the water master this video but I'll build a deck separately to, to, to do that and then I'll show you what the deck is so you're not going to see it completely blind I just don't I'm not going to bother recording the deck construction process because I unless you want me to but I don't think you will hey 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 let's trade baby do you have a flare on level 28 um, I don't sadly no yeah, yeah, I, I forgot you were there. Since Team Guru has disappeared, I can play my cards again! Yay! I don't understand how anyone could think Team Guru 2 isn't a villain. I mean, he defeated all of us, took away all our cards. He was a villain, he is a villain. Your, your point being? Did I say otherwise? I might have done. I don't know. Anyway. Team Guru, you make the fire inside of me burn so hot! Oh, I want to fight, I need some cards! How are you feeling, Neo? Oh, I'm burning up. You might have a fever there, mate. Or you're just standing next to that fire there, in which case I would advise you stand a few feet away from it because you might actually burn yourself. I've got a few cards from Ken after we were free from that cage. If I don't keep battling, my fire will burn down to nothing. Come on, let's have a duel. Would you like to duel Adam? Uh, Not right now. Say what? I'm going to be nothing but ash soon. Well, then step away from the fire, you idiot. Fire, fire, fire! I hid this deck before we were attacked. Fire! Like to draw Jonathan. No, not yet. I will do it next video, but for now, because time is running short for me, I think we'll go straight to the master here, unless he wants us to battle his members, in which case if he does, we'll battle the members instead and set ourselves up, or set ourselves up for a fight with him next video. I don't have any cards yet. Oh, well, there you go. So I can't do much at the moment. Don't worry about me, though. Do your best, Neewa. Well, apparently you gave your cards over to this prick over here. So that means he's the master. So we'll battle him then and end the video there. I think that'll be a good idea, then. Alright, Mr. Man who cannot step away from fire because he's too dirt. I have changed my mind. Let us battle you. We'll burn brightly with four prize cards in this match. No, you'll burn brightly. I ain't doing shit. So he's got a spark voltage deck, so I believe it's a mixture of fire and electric. But that's fine, because we've got fighting times to help us out with that. Which, actually, they're not... Oh, damn it, they're not resistant to electric, are they? Only Diglett was, and I got rid of Diglett. Buggers! Alright, don't worry, I'm not worried. Well, he's not worried. We've only got Machop though, so we probably might lose this one. But he's only got one Pokemon card as well. Okay, if we can go first... We can't. Damn. Okay, never mind. He's not happy though. Attach Electric Energy to Pikachu, and that's all he's going to do. Okay, we're going to attach Fighting Energy to Machop. We're going to use Bill. Let's see if we can get this nipped in the bud nice and quick. We have got Scoop up for our trouble. And we're going for the Low Kick, which does double damage. Very nice. Sorry, Pikachu. Kicking you around is a bit cruel. Oh, he's happy now. He's got Magnemite. Okay, that's that's fine. Not too worried. Magnemite can paralyze. That is a bit of a problem. But um, we have now got a Rasta as a backup. Good times. Right, let's get Low Kick on the Pikachu. Take him out, or her out. I do like Pikachu, by the way. I'm not that harsh. But we have got Snorlax as well for our trouble. Now, now let's hope he doesn't paralyze us and he puts another Pokemon down on the bench. He's using Gust of Wind. That's fine. He has got Self-Destruct, but he can't use that right now because although he's got the energy to do so, that would mean he would lose the duel. He has Paralyze us, which is a bit of a problem because we can't retreat either, but we can evolve, actually, so we can get round that. So, ha! <laughs> Can we retreat? Yes, we can. Well, we've won this fight. Nice and easy, then. <laughs> in your face, bitch! Well, I say in your face. In your face, into the fire. The fire of loss. And me with the flames of victory. We have won the duel with Adam pretty damn quick. A bit too quick, actually. I've completely burned out. It might have been the heat. Or just luck. I'll put it down to luck, but the heat may have not helped either. What do we get? Ooh, a Hypno. Very nice. Super Potion, Pokédex. Pokédex is an interesting trainer card. Look at the top five cards from your deck and rearrange them as you like. Quite useful, that. 
got to remember to watch my blazer on Jewel and you. Right, well, you just got unlucky there, that was all. I'll be I'll be I'll I'll be I'll be fair to that. Alright, we'll battle this guy then to finish things up, since that was a quick battle. I've got time for one more. So come on, Jonathan, with your immortal flame deck. Yes. Maybe it means he can never lose. Or maybe he can, and he can lose infinite amount of times, in which case that's fine by me, because I can farm him for things. We'll get him a chop out, so I've got the beginnings of a cold building up, hence the snotty noise you might have heard, and if you didn't hear it, there was one, I promise, it's not fake news. Right, he's also already got one Pokemon on the field as well, alright, let's see if we can go first, come on. Yes! I think we can attack on the first turn, I actually can't remember if we can or not. Can't remember, I know Yu-Gi-Oh you can't. But we can a Pokemon, or at least in the uh, in this version of the game anyway we can, in the original rules, so to speak. Use Bill, oh dear. Damn it, he's winking. He's put magma on the bench. Okay, that's fine. Oh, he's used potion, you bastard. That's not fine. Oh, that's nasty. Please be tails. Well, uh, 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 probably asking a bit too much there. Alright, never mind, never mind. We can, um, we can get round this. We have not a char We have got a Charmander on the bench. Uh, ooh, I'm going to put Fire Energy on Ponyta to get her the uh, Flame Attack, whatever it is that does 30 damage. That'll be a good idea. So we can take care of this Growlithe quickly, although it doesn't look like it is. Damn it! You bastard! You crafty sod. Not worried, not worried, because we can take out uh, Growlithe now. Attach Fire Energy onto Ponyta, gonna do Flame Tail. I think if he doesn't put any other Pokemon down on the bench, he should be alright, because Magma needs two Fire Energy cards to do his attack, that particular Magma anyway. He's only got 50 health, so we should. We should win this actually, unless he um, uses a potion or puts another Pokemon down. We should be able to win this. Machoke and that. So we'll put another Machop down. I'll put a Fighting Energy on. I was going to put it on Charmander, but I think I'll change Attack. And we'll use a Flame Tail. That was the attack I was thinking of. For 30 damage. Very nice. Uh, he's looking disappointed. He has attached Fire Energy to Magma. He's going for the Fire Punch, which does 30. But I'm afraid it's going to be another quick victory for us. We have been very lucky this video. Very lucky. I don't know why I attached a fire energy to my chop there. Probably because I know I'm going to win and therefore I wasn't thinking properly. Sod it. Flame tail for the win. Magma is down. And we win again. Damn, we were lucky. Well... Again, you've got an immortal deck, and that probably means you've got immortality, so it's no big deal for you, really, is it? That jewel ousted my fire! And we've got a Legends booster pack for our troubles. Ooh, we've got a Dragonair! That's cool! Slam, uh, does uh, 50 coins, 30 damage uh, each head, it's pretty good. And then Hyper Beam, which is a bloody good attack in this game. It only does 20 damage, and it's a lot for 4 energy, but... If the defending Pokemon has any energy cards attached to it, you can discard one of them, so you can actually paralyze Pokemon, so they can't actually do anything and just get attacked with Hyper Beam every turn. It is a powerful attack. Um, on Dragonair, it's good, but actually, from what I can remember of the basic Pokemon card game, the best Pokemon to use for Hyper Beam is Golduck, because Golduck only needs three energy to do it, not four, and it's exactly the same attack. So, yeah, Hyper Beam is a damn good attack. If you can get it out quick, paralyze your opponent they can't do anything unless they use gust of wind on you or something like that but yeah that's really good and Dragonair and who doesn't want Dragonite a Dragonite deck you know that would be cool in the future we might look into that and we've got another boost pack oh cool so we've got two for this one I thought we'd only get the one but that's fine oh we've got Nidoo King which was always a uh, I, I, I never it, as a shiny it never bothered me so much but it was cool to get one if you did because you didn't get one that often they were kind of like uncommon shinies um, when I was a kid anyway, again, it kind of depended on how lucky you were, but I didn't pull, I think I only pulled two, I think. Um, but yeah, Little King's cool. Flip a coin, if heads to stack, just 30 damage, just 10 more damage to your tails, just 30 damage and 10 damage to yourself, that's okay. And then Toxic is really good, because although it only does 20 damage, the poison effect does 20 damage instead of 10 on each turn, even if it was already poisoned, so that's really good. So Nidoking King can be quite a beast. One swing of its mighty tail can snap a telephone pole as if it were a matchstick. 
Matchsticks are hard to snap. I mean, with your fingers they are, but if you smack it with something, it's all to do with uh, forces and pressure and surface area. It doesn't, doesn't work that way. I'll take his word for it, though. But he can do what he can. And it's like a matchstick, but yeah. If you want another battle, just say the password. Fire! Fire! No, thanks. I don't need one. We move right. Right, okay, so that'll do for this video for now. Um, I think what we'll do next time is we'll have another look around for any club members left that we can battle. Actually, yes, there is the water one. Unless Amy doesn't have her cards. Actually, we'll check that now before we do finish up. Otherwise, it'll be pointless me building a, uh, a water uh, a deck to counter her. So let's have a look. There is she. There she is, slumbering on a deck chair. Good afternoon, Neo R. Do you like the deck I gave you? Oh, I do, Amy. Don't hold back from fighting Team Girl, we're all counting on you. Okay, so we can't fight her anyway. We could probably fight her members, but we can't fight her. That's fine. Maybe we can fight her later on. Um, oh, there's anybody at the fighting club? I don't know. He got abducted, didn't he? Oh, no. What's there? There's Jessica. My name's Amanda. That's where I'm getting confused. Yeah, okay, so there's no fighting club. So I think we've battled everyone we can, really. So I think next time, then... We've done lightning, we've done rock. So yeah, I think next time then, because that's the Mace Laboratory, um, we'll tackle some of the members that we haven't done on science and the water. And then um, we've done psychic. Um, and then yeah, we'll go to Team Gur Island then. And like I said, in between videos, I'm going to battle Imakuni, because the way to battle Imakuni, at least in the first game, unless that doesn't work anymore, is once you've battled him and then done your business, if you then save the game, quit the game, and then go back into it, uh, Imakuni resets. Otherwise, if you try to look for him within the same uh, save file state that you're on at the moment, even if you save multiple times, um, before you turn the power off, he doesn't appear again. So he only appears once every time you switch the game on and battle him. And then if you want to battle him again, you have to switch it, save it, switch it off, switch it back on, blah, blah, blah. And then he comes back. At least that's how it works in the first game. So again, in this one, I don't know if it will or not. But I think it does. I think it works in a similar way. So I'll do that off screen to get some Imakuni stuff. And if I do come across anything new, I shall record it and show you for next time. So can I say thank you very much for watching if you have done. Um, and like I said, Tales of Pissiri will be back with us soon. Um, but in the meantime, take it easy, have a good one. Hope you're well. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye for now.